everyone, it's Diane Hall, author, medium, channel and angel intuitive and this is the message for the week of the week beginning the 9th of May 2016 and thank you again for all your lovely messages and support and um, I just want to remind you that if you would like to be considered for a free mentoring session um, just look at the links below and uh, sign up to my messages, send me a message uh, via the contacts page on my website and also make sure you're subscribed to the channel and um, just post a comment, say hi and when you send me a message from the contacts page on my website just let me know what you'd be interested in learning um, in your mentoring sessions um, if you were to book for six weeks or so. Okay so that's that and if you'd like to book a reading with me just also go to the readings page on my website and have a look there at all the services that I offer so um, the message that I've been given for this week is number 86 shine your light and the reason that um, uh, I think we've been given this is because it's time to start moving forward a little bit to just be aware that we're still here that we're still staying in the zone of what we've created what we want to create what we want to be offering to the world and even though we're reconsidering a lot of things we're still moving forward so the message for this week is after a long period of contemplation and preparation it's time to offer your gifts to the world the time for preparing has passed now Make a wish and walk forward with your inner light, casting a glow all around you, infusing all you see with light. This is what true stars do. Embrace it. So, shine your light. <laughs> what it really means is, wherever you go, you are shining your light. Wherever you go, whatever you do, that's who you are. Who you have become is the greatest gift you have to offer the world. Who you've become as a result of all the work you've done on yourself, your prayers, your petitions, your spiritual evolution in this lifetime, and you know your desire to do something meaningful that makes a difference. Everything that you've become as a result of that intention, and to become a better version of yourself as well, all of those intentions have made you shine much more brightly. And this is the week to really be thinking about raising your vibration, where you've already raised your vibration, what's the purpose of raising your vibration. In other words, you're not just doing it for its own sake, you're doing it because you've come here to show something different to the world. You've come here to bring the gift of who you are. So it's a week to really start to walk out into the world with that gift to touch people's lives, to begin to actually make a difference in a practical sense. So everything that you've been thinking about, everything that you've been considering, everything that you've been preparing, the world needs it now. And that's the reason that you've been inspired to create it, and it's the reason that you've been inspired to give it to the world, okay? So it's not it's not about staying in hiding. It's not about, yes, we have to polish, we have to hone, we have to practice, we have to train our instruments, if you like. Um, but there comes a point where you need to just get out there and play the music already. And it's time, really, for you to be thinking, well, what is all this preparation for? It's not just for me to be, you know, making uh, an impact on this time in tiny circle that I'm existing in. It's time for me to actually spread my radiance and to allow it to move out into the world in the form of gifts, healing, love, light, or actual talents, or maybe a new creation, a new business, a new venture, a new journey, a new book, some new music. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that needs to come onto the planet now that will elevate all of us, that will lift us up. And those of you who are particularly inspired, it's you need to bring your inspirations out into the world. The world needs them. So if there's anyone out there who's very timid and they're thinking, oh no, this isn't really the time and, you know, oh, I'm not sure because everything's in retrograde and it doesn't feel right. It's just a reminder that whatever you're doing, whatever stage of development you're at, you can still be sharing what you do 
with the world. You can still find a way, even if you feel tired, even if you feel that it might not be the right time. This is not the time to allow a lack of confidence to be an excuse, uh, you know, to look for things that are an excuse for basically a lack of confidence, okay? So the time is now, they're saying. The time is always now, the time has always been now. Okay, so I'm going to pick a card from um, the Saints and Angels deck today because um, before I, um, and it's another beautiful deck by Doreen Virtue, I've just been told to say, and I, have, my guides are reminding me that um, quite often when you have a very powerful path, when you have a very big mission, when you have a very big voice, when you're very, very inspired, and I don't mean a big voice in the sense that you shout loudly, but a very big message, sometimes those are the people who are the most frightened of going out into the world. And that's why they've asked me to use this deck, because a lot of saints um, who walked this path of ascension that we are all currently walking, were not the most courageous people. They were the most inspired people. They were the most God-loving people. They were the most aligned people and the people who had the, the fiery heart of commitment and devotion to humanity and wanted to bring change. But they were not always the bravest. They often questioned themselves. They often questioned their path. They often questioned whether they were up to the job. They often questioned their sanity. They often questioned whether what they were saying was actually true. And they were often questioned as well. So no one is saying this is an easy path. If you have a big message and you're still holding back, it's understood why you've been holding back. So don't berate yourself, be gentle with yourself, be loving with yourself, but stop making excuses. <laughs> That's how I heard it. Be gentle, loving and kind to yourself, but stop making excuses now. It's time to step out because you're in good company, very good company. So I'm gonna shuffle this beautiful deck and I'm gonna ask, what is it that we can take from the saints and angels today that will help us to have courage to shine our light in the world? And that's where I've been told to stop. Who do we get? <sighs> Be brave. <laughs> Perfect. And that's a message from your guardian angel. Be brave. And I'm also hearing, I am always with you. I am inspiring you in word and deed constantly. Even when you don't see me, even when you don't believe I exist, I continue to love, inspire and guide you. And therefore... Even when no one believes what you say, and sometimes they even question the existence and the validity of the things you believe, continue to inspire them, continue to speak your truth, and continue to guide them, because I am with you, and I am guiding you, regardless of whether you believe me or believe in me. And it reminds me of a phrase from one of my favourite films, I might have quoted this before, from City of Angels, which was kind of a remake, a revisioning of um, uh, Wings of Desire, Vim Vendors. Um, but there's a line from City of Angels, which is basically some things are true whether you believe them or not. So this is going to be a week to believe in your inner light and your messages and to believe that the time is now <laughs> and to act as if you do whether you believe it or not. Okay, and move forward in full faith, I just heard, so I'm adding that as well. So, I'm just going to shuffle and pick a card from the Secret Language of Colour cards as well, because it's very much a vibrational shift that needs to happen sometimes. So, in terms of shining your light, you're already light-filled, you've spent all this time becoming light-filled because you know you're here on a mission, and even if none of this means anything to you, You've come to this reading because there's a message here for you and that message is a message of encouragement to take out into the world something that you believe in very strongly. So if you want to see it in purely practical terms, it could be a new venture, a new business, it could be um, a change of residence, it could be any of those things. And you might be unsure about whether what you're feeling inside, in your heart, is actually um, aligned or makes sense. And this is really just a message of encouragement that's a reminder that sometimes 
the things that are really, really deep within you that burn away with a kind of uncommon sense make a lot more sense than the things that make common sense. So shining your light for you might mean just making a decision to commit to something that feels really important on the inside that doesn't make a lot of sense on the outside. So I'm asking what's the shift that we need to make in our energy field this week to make sense of shining our light in the world. Create a balanced life. Okay, so for some of us, it's really a question of needing to feel that we're on firmer footing, is the way that I'm hearing it. Needing to feel that we're on firmer footing in all areas of our life before we can actually step out that bravely and that courageously. So I'm being told, um, just to go in, uh, in line with this card, to just remind people not to do anything rash, to stay in balance, to stay calm, to you know, make decisions from an informed and intelligent place as well as from an enlightened and inspired place, to trust the common sense as well as the uncommon sense and to let the two things work in harmony, let there be balance in everything. Thank you, but what we're missing at the moment, what we're lacking some of us, is the courage to move forward. And one of the reasons is because some things are out of balance within ourselves or within our lives. Some of us are not feeling that comfortable with our material reality, our external reality in some sense. Uh, and we need to get all our ducks in a row. We need to get things really organized and, you know, and ordered before we feel we can actually step out. So continue on that theme of, um, of making sure that you, you shine your light, but you also do it from a place of strength and of balance, of feeling supported in your practical reality. And I'm going to see what else is on the top. Okay. Free yourself from pain. Okay. So it's important to acknowledge that even though we've got this huge impulse, so we've got Jupiter going forward now, we've also got all of these other aspects and planets that are um, kind of still asking us to reassess, to reevaluate. And although we really, really want to go out into the world and shine our light, for some of us, there is still some healing to be done. There is still some inner wounding that needs to be looked at that will, you know, once we release it, will help us to go freely on that path. But keep in mind constantly that the time has come for you to shine your light. So if you keep that at the forefront of your mind and allow all of these other fragments and ideas to begin to drift away in the background, then that will be the thing that helps you to get over them, to get over the healing, to get over the reservations, to get things in balance so that you're prepared and you're ready to move ahead, and to release the pain of the past so that you can go out into the world and begin to shine your light. So, um, the message, oh, I just dropped all of them now. The message that we had about being brave is really the thing that we need to hold on to from this reading. Be brave and let that bravery inspire you to balance things because for some, I'm being told, remaining in chaos is just another distraction, it's another excuse for not going forward. So if you need to clear the clutter in your home, if you need to create new systems that will bring balance, if you need to, you know, whatever it is that you need to do to reorganise things, let it be a way of allowing you to move forward out into the world rather than something else that keeps you distracted. Oh, I can't go forward until this and this and this happens. Oh, I can't go forward because this, this, this hasn't fallen into place yet. Do all things with balance and awareness, but keeping in mind the ultimate objective, which is to bring your light into the world and to shine. Okay, thank you for watching everyone. Have a fantastic week and um, I will see you next week. Thank you for commenting, liking and sharing the video and thank you also for subscribing and um, yeah, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, please click on the link below the video and I will speak to you again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.